Welcome back to Bits Be Trippin'. This is your host, Carter. Let's get into this. Now, this video is going to be a quick one on the new BBT Multiminer 7.0. Now, if you head over to bitsbetrippin.io, on the main page, you can see in the bottom left-hand corner the BBT Multiminer blog post. Now, that'll take you to the GitHub address that will allow you to download the actual binaries for this. And, of course, you can pull it down from the source code, too. But if you click on that blog post and you click the actual link below that will take you over to the github address now you're going to want to do a few things if you are actually releasing this to your windows computer and it has antivirus set up on it there is a few false positives on this binary and what we're going to do is i'm going to show you guys how to get in there and add an exception but very first you can just click on that and go to download the zip file and you'll see it start to download down here in the bottom left hand corner why it's doing that what we're going to do is come over to the antivirus here and we're going to click on the virus and threats and if you scroll down you'll see virus protection settings you'll click that you'll scroll down a little more and you're going to add an inclusion or exclusions rather you add the exclusion you add a folder and what you're going to want to do is under your downloads, you're going to want to create a folder in here. Just call it Miner or make whatever name you want. But we're just going to name this Miner. And then we're going to exclude that folder. So anything we move into that folder, we're going to say, don't mess with that. Now that's going to come up to the automatically after it's done downloading. It's going to want to try to open. What we're going to do is close that. And we're going to come right back into there, into the downloads. And we're going to move that over into that folder, that exclusion folder. And then we're going to come here, right click, we're going to extract this there. And now that's going to prevent it from deleting a few of the different coin miners that are included in this release here. Under the miner piece here, it would actually remove a couple of those miners and it would remove this myinfo.bat file, which is very critical to the design here. That That's where you actually put your information in. So after that's all done, you actually have it downloaded. So through all that explanation, we got you downloaded, we got it on your computer, and from in here, the next very first thing that you need to do is you need to put your addresses in this MyInfo. Now you're gonna wanna use a, a rich editor, which is like Notepad++. You can actually go out there and download Notepad++, put it on your computer. If you right click on that and hit edit, it's gonna bring up this little document here. Now this is going to have essentially all, these are all gonna be blank. Now. We did this blank and we accepted these changes because what was going on is people were downloading the previous multi-miners and I had in there a default to put our addresses in there, right? Just that way you could just download it and hit a button and you could see that it's working. Well, what ended up happening is we have a lot of different people that don't make these changes to these settings and then they start mining for us. And I don't want that to happen unintentionally. So this is, we're accepting this change. We're making sure there's no addresses in here. So now just... The old multiminer, you could download and just hit a button and it would start working. This one, you're going to have to do something. You're going to have to come in here into my info and you're going to have to put your perspective address in, in this folder here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put an address in here and we're going to just show you guys how it kind of works right out of the gate and we're going to save it. Now, you're also going to have to make some changes if you're using something like supernova pool where it requires a minor login and name. You need to go in there and you're going to have to change these variables. Too. So you'll have to change them to whatever your minor password is or your minor login, web login, just the name and then your your particular minor name that you want and then your particular address that you want to be notified if the minor goes down on. Those are those some settings that you're going to have to change. But right now we're going to go in here and we're going to paste in an ETH address. And what I'm going to do for right now is quickly just come back over to BBT. We can go to About Us. We have some donation addresses here. I'm just going to use this Ethereum address here real quick on the donation thing. So on this one here, we're going to right click, we're going to copy that one and we're going to put paste it right in here on the ETH here, paste. And there we go. So it's in front of the equal sign there. We're going to hit save on that. You have to hit save. If you just close this, this will not save your changes. So just right now, we're just going to put the ETH one in there and we're going to close this. And now what that's going to allow you to do is when you double click this multi miner, it's going to launch the very first time you may get this where you have to hit my info or more info and then hit run anyway. And now it's going to save that setting for in there. And when you launch it, it's going to bring up the menu here. So if you use the mouse scroller, you can scroll up and down this menu. And obviously we put one in for Ethereum. So we're just going to go ahead and try that number one option. 
So if you kind of scroll back down and you just hit number one on your keyboard, let's do that. It will now pick up that address that we saved in that my info and it's going to start to work. Now this computer I'm recording on has a GTX 1080 Ti on it, 11 gig, and it may reduce my recording a little bit here, but we'll see if it can mine and do a render because we'll be using the i7 that's in this computer. And now it's mining. So there we go, 30, 30 mega hash. Right now, just default with no settings on that 1080 Ti, and we're off to mining. So that's all there is to it, folks. I, there's not much more to this video. Uh, this is the latest update you can see in here. If we go ahead and edit this .bat file, you can see the details of that and how that's set. It's setting some of your pre-variables up here in the front. It's doing some of the settings for the X16R up front for you. Also setting the intensity levels. Uh, setting the thread concurrency for the applicable coins that require that. You can go in there and edit some of those settings in this. And then you can kind of see the menu here of the different coins that are included. So on this video, if you guys want to see other coins added now that we got this new updated format, um, submit some comments below and let us know what else you would like to see added to the Multiminer. The whole concept of this is to make things easier for people to be able to get in. And if they're using a Windows computer, you know, hedge some of that bet with your, you know, your gaming computer when you're sleeping. You can set the intensity down to where you're not just threading it out and get some cryptocurrency on the side. So all the code that you see in there has all been community contributed and it originally started with the stuff that I created. But this is really a community tool now. So, you know, no charging for this. This is free. All of this, all the stuff in here is you pay the perspective pools that you uh, are going to and the per perspective miner fees that are built into like Claymore and that. But there's no other additional fees. You guys can see the code. You can see what it's doing. Essentially, it's just a very uh, detailed bat file kicking off the process for you. And hopefully you guys like it. Subscribe, comment, let us know what you think. And happy mining.